Welcome back to the hair-raising spectacle that is Karen Go Burr, your front row seat to the most jaw-dropping Karen sagas. Brace yourselves for an adrenaline-packed journey through the wild world of Karens, where we witness a Karen getting an unexpected face-to-foot reunion with a furious Brazilian worker, to a Karen sentenced to a fast food job after hurling a burrito bowl at a Chipotle employee. Hold on tight as a male Karen unleashes road rage chaos like never before. Watch a pet owner Karen's meltdown when labeled a Karen while walking her dog. And stay tuned for the aftermath of a colossal restaurant showdown between two families. Get ready for the blockbuster of absurdity. Karen Go Burr is about to kick it up a notch. Buckle up, folks. We're diving into this wild road rage saga where our main character, a male Karen, takes his road rage game to the next level. So I where do you go? Why are you walking up to me, sir? Don't touch me. Because if you touch me, you're going to f jail, okay? Because you followed me for over a half a mile down the road for what? Now say hi because I have over 10 million followers. Take your f***ing 10 million followers okay. and shut the f*** up. You got me f***ed up. Maybe buying your own f business. All right. Call the police. If you want to talk that in the first f place. Hey, you better. You, you want to have some hey. crazy ass crackers. Hey. F*** with you right All now. All right. All right. Alright, so yeah, just go ahead, cause so you mind your own business. Hey, you touch me, it's over for you. Our heroine, unfazed and strategic, pulls into a gas station. A genius move that catches the aggressor off guard. Let's see how this unfolds. Make sure I got that license plate. Y'all, let's get the license plate. What, you want more? Hey, you touch me, you you go you going to jail. Call the police. Tell him to leave your store. Because he's harassing me at this point. He can make me leave, but you can't. His aggression? Purely aimless now. Intimidation failed. Ego crushed. It's like watching a movie where the villain didn't read the script. Next on our drama-filled journey, a Karen faces real consequences from the justice system. Watch this scripted Karen moment unfold before justice takes center stage. It's like she mistook Chipotle for a wrestling ring. Reality check, Karen. Even her companion can't believe the spectacle. Justice system, you're our hero today. And there it is, folks. The courtroom delivers the verdict, proving once again, reality isn't scripted, and consequences are very much real. Get ready for a wild ride as we unveil why Karens get feisty, especially when hungry or unsatisfied with their grub. You have an fix for you. The bill is easy, but no peppers are okay. He took my order right Sir, there. sir, so sir, sir right I'm gonna have to ask you to leave if you can't talk to me. I'm sitting here trying to talk to you. No, you're cutting me here. off. I'm trying to tell you what the kids okay. said right here. Come here you're cutting me off. You're, you're pointing to a picture. I'll tell you. He's back there. I'm pointing over to you. He's back there. 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 I'm not up to you. I'm not. Tell me what you want. I'll give me my damn food and I'll leave. Simple as that. And I won't come back here and that's it. Yeah. 
plot twist, no one saw that butterscotch lid coming. Hungry Karens are like unpredictable movie twists. Keep a lid on it. Assault accusations fly, bystanders react, and we're left wondering if justice will catch up with this hangry Karen couple. In this canine calamity, our Karen, a pet owner, loses it when someone calls her a Karen while walking her dog. I was just walking my dog when. Uh-huh. Over there? Okay, so that's why you call it. Ooh. You're recording me right now. Okay. Ooh. You're recording uh -huh. me. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. 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 Okay. Get the Ooh. Here. I live here. How long have you lived here? It doesn't matter. Like a Ooh. What? Doesn't matter. Get the Ooh. Out of here. I'm not going anywhere, woman. Look, what is wrong with you? you? I'm not going anywhere. I'm walking my dog. What is your problem? Karen? Note to self. Never call a Karen a Karen. It charges them up like a raging bull. Even the mediator's dog is side-eyeing the chaos. Come up here, I'll call the cops. I will call the cops. I will call the cops. Back it up. Back it up. I will call the cops. Someone gotta come get her. I'm not doing the job for this lady. Get your food. Out of my food. Really? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Really? What is wrong with you? I wasn't doing anything. I'm walking my dog. I am walking my dog. I'm not going anywhere. Nobody's on you. You need to go home. The dog's expression? Priceless. It's like the dog is saying, Yo, don't drag me into this human drama. Brace yourselves for the college edition of Karen, featuring a student cranking her computer volume to 100%, then proceeding to get angry at the teacher for doing something about it. We can do this all day. And I'll turn it up to 100. The next step is to strategize. Think about a plan to solve the problem. Create a conceptual plan. To calculate delta H reaction from standard enthalpies of formation, Subtract the heat's information of the reactants multiplied by their stoichiometric coefficients from the heat's information of the products multiplied by their stoichiometric coefficients. Follow the conceptual plan to solve the problem. The standard enthalpies of formation for each reactant and product are shown here. Remember that the standard enthalpy of formation of pure elements in their standard state is zero. Calculate delta H reaction by substituting these values into the equation. Go ahead and try that now. What is delta H reaction? We were hoping for a heroic teacher moment, but alas, the script flipped, and now the student plays the victim. Where's the plot twist we were promised? Our next tale involves a video not entirely Karen related, but it's a conflict extravaganza with a touch of unprofessionalism. Hey. Are you denying me service for my service animal? Not at all. I want you what, to have him properly what, restrained. No, he is properly to restrained. To me. That is. I already told you he's my service animal. On the no, I told him he's my service animal. He's my service animal for my bipolar disorder, my PTS disorder. He needs to be back here with me. He needs to be back here with me. Okay, so let's get you back in the room so that I can get you the policy. I don't so care what your policy is. The ADA law states that I need uh, to yeah, have and my... I, and I know, and I I know mean, the ADA. Yep, I know If it, you know yep. the ADA law, then you would be bringing my what? dog back here. Okay, so just go back into your room and I'll... I'll... I know. That's why I said I'm sorry. I don't mean to be causing a scene. This is why I need my service dog. But again, if the dog is within eight feet of that, you know he's getting a dose of radiation. Okay, I'm then. down the dog out here. No, no, hold on. No, here. hold on here for a second. Because when my girlfriend was here, she had an x-ray done. I sat right, right there. I wasn't here. I can't speak to that. It doesn't matter. You can you can talk to the other people that were here on staff. You can talk to my, my girlfriend. I she just said. It, does, it matters because whoever was on staff was not him that much. Uh, so it wasn't me. It's the first time I've met you, and I'm not trying to cause you problems. Yes, you I'm are. I'm just trying to keep people safe. Yeah. I, I feel like you have to say so over you. If you want them to do a bedside and you, you consent to the fact that your dog is being radiated, I just didn't know if you knew that or not. Sir, I've been telling you, yes, it's okay. But that's not, it's... I said, so I, said okay. I accept you, that. You consent to that. Yes, I've been telling you that for the past no, five you, minutes. Yeah, yeah. To say it's okay is Thank not you, to officer. say I give consent. Thank you, officer. I have a responsibility to make sure you understand what you're consenting to. 
Our disabled veteran spins a tail to the cop, and the comment section awaits your verdict. Is he justified, or did he jump the gun? I'm a 47-year-old veteran. I understand. <gasps> okay? I'm not delusional. I'm not schizophrenic. I understand what he was saying. He's just trying to be a <gasps> just trying to cover his you, you said it yourself. Well, he consented. Well, he's like, well, I need to know the word consent. Do you see how he's being? Do you see how? I understand that. The hospital all day. Oh, he does. I mean, he. How does that make you feel? Stories, you know? How does it yeah, make you feel? That's why I'm here. Does it make you, make you feel like, hey, let's go out and. It's his number one priority. He would accept the fact that I told him the first time and moved on and get me my treatment that I needed. But apparently he wants to go and try to cause me problems and ask for specific things that delay my 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 help that i need my x-rays my my labs my whatever our take the veterans assumptions might be too extra is it a case of miscommunication or is someone playing the wrong role you decide let the next video be another reminder about how to firmly stand your ground without turning into a verbal volcano Here, what who you been dealing with today you gonna talk to me with some respect okay my son is standing right here okay you talk to me with some respect you want some respect, you gonna get some. Okay, you not gonna talk to me any kind of way. Now I done tried to deal with you civilized, but now I gotta put you in your place. Cause you's a woman, I'm a man. I'm not gonna let you talk to me any kind of way. Now I'm gonna put you back in your place. You do your post office job to the best of your ability and learn how to talk to people or get another career. You go get you another career or go get you some job training. For how much? Okay? Go take you a 15 minute break and learn how to talk to people. No, I'm a taxpayer in this community. You wait. You wait. Postal workers be like, oops, wrong person to mess with today. Crisis averted, and it's a good day for everyone involved. You can't serve me because you should have did me right the first time. Call the police. What they gonna do? Escort me out of here? I didn't do nothing. I didn't make no threats. That's ridiculous. You guys got you you got good service because you helped me initially. That lady need need a reality check. I feel you, baby. <laughs> she no no she need a reality check and some lifting iced tea because that ain't acceptable. That's brisk. No no. If she explained it the first time, I didn't understand it because maybe she got just as much as a high school diploma. I went to college. I'm a Clark Atlanta University graduate. You guys keep talking to people and trying to be little us. Then I'm making a crusade to come up here and make this post office my business. See so what you guys doing? You messing with the wrong people in the community. You guys are employed because of us, not because it's because of your own volition. Thankfully, the situation didn't hit DEFCON 5. Peace out, postal drama. Hold on to your seats, folks. We're witnessing the aftermath of a restaurant showdown between two families. People think they're going to jail. Ain't nobody going to jail tonight. They're going to jail. Chill, chill, chill. What we doing? Hey, what we doing? What we doing? Nobody's happy. Hey, we got one man and two in here. We're not talking about seeing the man in jail. Answer the question. He's not going to jail. I have video. Hold up. We got one man and two in here. We're not talking about seeing the man in jail. One family asked to leave peacefully. Sparks fly and the drama unfolds. Kudos to the restaurant for serving up this feast of chaos. Thank you guys, thank you.
Wish we were there with our popcorn to capture the full spectacle. Who needs Netflix when reality serves up such savory drama? Up next, get ready for the body cam spectacle as a cop lays down the law and confronts a Karen for her misdeeds. Now, them watering the swale. Technically city-owned property. And it's not illegal for them to water it. Not everything that they do is specifically to, to spite you. Versus when I have you on camera saying that you do things intentionally to spite them, that's different. Oh, who said I who said that? I watched the video of you doing that this winter when you're talking to the guy with the poison. So I talked with your neighbors about what the purpose of that and what its function is and that they put it there intentionally to protect their wood because your water was hitting their wood. I looked at your lawn. Your lawn is not hurting for water it in that just, corner. It, they just did it. It's not hurting for water in that corner. Okay. Well, it will be. Well, that needs to be put back because it's there protecting well, their property. The whole thing is it's I'm, on my property. No, it's not. At the angle, yes, no, it it's is. Not. Her face says it all. Stern consequences weren't in her Karen script. Hold on to your hats and let's hope she doesn't script a sequel. It's defending their property from you potentially damaging it with your water. Okay, that needs okay. to be put back. Need, okay. Secondly. I'll put it back. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to have somebody come out with a laser and go from the, okay. the thing out there. You, you, you do that. Okay. Stuff. Here's the other thing. You cannot go on their property. I never go on their property. I have video of you going on their property just now to yell at them about the water. You were up oh, on their driveway. I went okay. there to ask him to turn I it off care. and he said no. I don't care. Whatever. You don't get to go on their property. Simple as that. You are officially trespassed from their property. If you go on their property again, you're going to go to jail. The determination in her eyes. Cue dramatic music. Is this the calm before the Karen storm? Or will she retire from her troublemaking career? Only time will tell. Here we have a Karen cop caught in the act. Unclear why she pulled someone over. The tables turn as the citizen fights back. Sir? What's the reason you pulled me over? I pulled you over because I was doing a property check in the area there. We had a B&E the other day. Okay. Ran your plate. Okay, Did so... you put your window down? No. Put your window down. Is that a lawful order? What's that, sir? Is that a lawful order? I can't hear you. You need to put your you window You could hear me a second What's ago. That? You could hear me a second ago. You can hear me now. What's that? You could hear me a second ago, you can hear me now. I'm not playing your games, officer. Okay, well, my right? window's not going down. What's that? My window's not going down. I'm asking you to identify yourself. I've done a traffic stop. You need to put your window down. Okay, what's the reason you stopped me? What's that? What is the reason that you stopped me? I was doing a property check in the area. Okay. You're breaking under over there. So okay. Ran your plate. Okay. And the ROV of this vehicle comes back as wanted. Okay? As wanted. I'm asking you to identify yourself. Is that a lawful order? What's that? It is a lawful order. Under what law are you uh, uh, make? Right? Under what law are you making me identify myself? When I stop someone under the Highway Traffic Act. But you didn't stop me under the Highway Traffic What's Act. That, you didn't stop me under the Highway Traffic Act. Down. You just told me that this that you stopped me so because there was a B and E. What what part of the Highway Traffic Act is a B and E officer? What's that? What what part of the Highway Traffic Put Act is is wanted? What what part of the Highway Traffic Act is is a B and E? Because you've told me you pulled me over as a as a B and E suspect. There's multiple reasons I could pull a. a yes, but the reason that you pulled me over I, is I because of a B and E, right? When I when I when I right, under the I have it all on video, officer. You can't backtrack can now. I can literally see your camera. Right. Okay. okay. That's fine. So you pulled me over. She's probably regretting her life choices right about now. Lesson learned. Think twice before pulling someone over, Karen Cop. Okay. Under under what law do I have to identify myself? The Highway Traffic Act. But the you didn't pull me to... over under the Highway Traffic Act. I just like how instantly she just knew that she just kept backtracking her words because she couldn't even figure out what to say and that's why she wrote to, oh, just roll down the window because she knows she lied, but let's continue. Under, under what law do I have to identify myself? The Highway Traffic Act. But you didn't pull me to... over under the Highway Traffic Act. Is that a law, Florida? Yes, put your window down. Under what law do I have you to put my window down? Under the highway, yeah. highway Traffic Act. Yes, but you didn't pull me over under the Highway Traffic Act. You need to put your window down. To help you in your investigation of a B&E. I'm not investigating a B&E. Well, that's what you told me you pulled me over for. Property, you property. did not tell me that you pulled me over for the Highway Traffic Act. You cannot change the reason now, officer. What's that? I'm not changing the reason. I'm stopping you under the Highway Traffic Act after I queried your plate, okay? Okay, so so what violation did I commit under the Highway Traffic Act? And you need to identify under the Highway what, what, what offense did I commit under the Highway Traffic Act? What's that, sir? What offense did I commit under the Highway Traffic Act? You're accusing the identify now. What crime are you accusing me of, officer? 
you're you are refusing to identify yourself now. Oh, and what right? crime is that? That's arrestable under the Highway Traffic Act. Yes, but what what act. crime did you pull me over in the first place regarding the Highway Traffic Act? You cannot just pull me over and randomly demand my ID. The streets just got a bit safer. Next time, she might want to check her script before attempting a traffic stop. Our next story involves a customer rightfully upset after KFC serves him chicken with a side of horror. Blood oozing out. I came about 15 minutes ago and I bought this chicken and uh, the sweet lady that sold me this chicken. Uh -huh. It's bloody. It's so bloody. Okay. How could any of this chicken come out to a customer and expect me to feed my kids bloody chicken? Let's look at it together. Okay. No, 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 no. Look at this bloody chicken. Look at the blood coming out right okay, here. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead and put that okay. back. Now, right, now, no, no. My pregnant, my pregnant wife would die with this salamonia. One, salamonia. One, you cannot be small okay. like this. One, do not yell at me. Mm, I'm not yelling. Going. This is the truth. This is death, man. Okay. Imagine it's your kids. Okay. Imagine. Lower How bloody was it? Was it Very salt? bloody, man. Look at it. Look at it. I didn't have okay. to talk. What? What? I'm talking to the man here. Oh, no. A man okay. here. Okay. I understand. Okay. He can he can listen to the truth. Look at this. Would I do this for uh, what? With second thing. That's the second time I don't get a receipt with my. Watch as the KFC defender tries to spin the narrative. Employees, take note. Empathy goes a long way. Okay. Credit card. So one, okay. What is going on here? One. What is it? Go ahead. Now you can down. talk. I'm calm. Thank you. I'm very calm. Thank you. Good. All right. I'll Thank you. Give you your money back for this. We're mm -hmm. close. Well, imagine, guys. Okay. Let me but tell you. Know you. Let me tell you, guys. Let me just tell you. Getting uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken with bloody, bloody, bloody chicken to your family. Good luck if you can live for another week. Thank you. Have a great, wonderful. The outraged customer leaves, making a statement. KFC, consider this your wake-up call. No more bloody surprises, please. Hold on tight as we reveal a thief pulling out all the stops, justifying her sticky fingers at the local farmer's market. You can't take. You're in my way. You cannot take those items. Let me tell you, I will post this on Facebook. I am a thousand dollar an hour dealer. You, you can do that. Out of my way. You can't steal from the market. Way. I'm not stealing. She's on camera. And she told some of them I would I was a rape survivor. A rape survivor. You need to say you're sorry. You've arrived at your destination. You know what? Ooh, ooh. Market's going to get a shout out. That's not kind. Did you hear me say rape survivor? It's an aspect of trespass Did if you, you come and take items survivor. again. I didn't take anything. I had permission. You heard her say, I gave her permission to take things, didn't you? You didn't mindicate you know what? I'm literally what shaking scale? as a trauma survivor. She didn't what say. Scale? She said, go ahead and, and take And did you, you have need. permission from I the farmer? I didn't report her because I was kind. Did you have permission you. from the farmer? I had permission from her representing you the farmer. You emailed him last night. Her. No, you heard her say, take what you need. No, she then said she take some items. That her job was jeopardized. And it's not jeopardized, sir. I can pay for the items if I have to today. But she heard me correctly. I'm Will on you my pay last for them? dollars. She could have just admitted the error, returned the goods, and called it a day. But no. Drama ensues as she lists her victim cards. Are you hearing the word rape? Rape. Everyone rape. here. Rape. Did you hear it again? Rape. That's not you're relevant. Not even saying, I'm sorry you were raped, ma'am. That is you not relevant how, to what you're doing here. Outstandingly great it is. Everyone that you are literally here on camera saying that a rape survivor doesn't need help when someone offered help to the farmers that you are pulling. Stealing? To no, the farmers that you're pulling from. I actually from. want to work with this group to help them. To help them understand how important it is that we only have 60 years of Ooh. soil left. Do you remember me talking if to you, you about the soil? If you need food, because I know that I did. You need to now, work other people with know us. That. We have hillside food outreach for those that I cannot work pay for, for food. I want to work for an exchange. I'm a thousand dollar an hour person who is online helping people heal. Go check me out. If you Stupid have income, please, please support walk. the farmer. Mr. Survivor isn't allowed to shop. That's what Did you're she pay to me? for those? She gave them to me, and it's Are literally on film. Are you shopping for her? It's literally on film. Are you film. shopping for her? 
I am going to shop from her, yes. Okay, but you were asked to leave the market due to the altercation we had, correct? We had no altercation. You made a scene. No, I'm explaining you to you. You said, you I were, don't care about rape survivors, you did, basically. You with a farmer what there chose again? to take what is items. Your name again? What you already have recorded my name. We'll That's do right. that when the and police And I can't come. remember it because I'm literally having heart disease. And I literally have it documented. And guess who's now infamous? Spoiler alert, not the farmer's market. And we're wrapping it up with a swift kick. A Brazilian worker teaching an American tourist the consequences of haggling on drinks. <laughs> Now, you weren't expecting that, were you? Well, neither were we if we're being honest. Moral of the story, negotiate wisely, or you might end up on the receiving end of a literal wake-up call. That's a wrap on this roller coaster of Karen madness. From a male Karen's road raid rampage to a pet owner Karen's dog-walking meltdown and a Brazilian worker's swift justice, we've surfed the waves of absurdity. The aftermath of a colossal restaurant showdown keeps the drama alive. Stay tuned, stay sane, and before you go, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for your VIP pass to the next jaw-dropping episode.